Hi, so many of you will have noticed, hopefully, over the last week or so, I did a video or two with my friend Sarah. We had a very socially distanced meetup um, where she came to do a video or two with me. And um, she, I think, mentioned on that video the fact that she um, doesn't do heels as a rule. She's somebody I've known for a very long time and she doesn't generally wear heels. And in the video, she was wearing my shoes because luckily we both have the same size feet. However, Andy, my tights guy, who uh, makes sure that I am well stocked with tights, decided that as a little treat for Sarah, as she doesn't have much in the way of heeled shoes, he would get her a pair. Um, and I thought I'd do a quick review of them as she's not here to let you know what I think of them. Now, these are Clark shoes. Not a brand of choice for me. I say that, however, Clark's Hush Puppies are very comfortable and I do own some Hush Puppy boots. However, um, in terms of the shoes, it's not a shoe shop that I would tend to go in because I tend to think of a bit bumpy, um, nice and wide so your toes don't squ get squished and all things like that. Plus, I had a very traumatic childhood whereby my mother made me wear Clark shoes to school all the time and I got picked on for it. That's another story. Um, but <laughs> these particular shoes for Sarah, who doesn't do heels and likes to wear comfy shoes, I think would be perfect for her because they are a heel. And they're a nice little leather shoe. And I think as long as you're not wearing frumpy clothes, the shoes themselves won't make her or anyone else look frumpy. So there we are, we've got a nice, what's that, three inch heel, two and a half, two and a half? Two and a half, three. Um, love the smell of leather. And because they're Clarks, of course, you'd expect them to be nice and cushiony inside. And they've got a very nice non-slip bottom on them because when you're an old lady, you don't want to go flying. Um, but there we go. But these are a nice, comfy, great for work, I would say. This is a great work shoe if you're going to be in heels all day. And because, like me, she's got a nice little size four, they're quite a nice shoe. So there we are, all those people thinking Clark's shoes were not a good shoe. If you want to wear a nice comfy heel, because they, they are very cushiony on the bottom, I have to say. So there we are, for a work shoe, or if you're going to an event, or an evening out, whereby you're going to be in heels all day, they're a nice shoe. Sarah hasn't actually seen these yet. I've told her she had some shoes on their way. These arrived today. So, um, yes, I shall let her have these. At the same time, Andy, my tight guys, as a little treat for him, also has suggested before now that I wreck a pair of tights. <gasps> oh no. So I thought I would. I have my scissors at the ready. And I'm only doing this for Andy because he buys me so many tights. So because it's from him, oh, look at that. that just goes to show how white my legs are and how desperate in need of a holiday I am. But this does actually go to show, of course, that some tights are very ladder resistant and others not so much. It's actually quite satisfying seeing the ladders run down my leg, I have to say. And here's what I prepared earlier. <laughs> we have more ladders. I just can't believe how lily white my legs are, I have to say. And if you're gonna wear a very dark tan tight, you should really, I should have put some fake tan on my legs, shouldn't I? Look at that. So Andy, just for you, wrecking a pair of tights while well, I'm in there. I need longer nails for this, really. There we go. Wrecked tights. Now there's a look. Clark shoes and holy tights. 